friends welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm bringing you three dollar tree diy fall signs that are super inexpensive and very easy to make so let's go ahead and get started with the first one for my first project i'm going to be using uh, these jenga blocks that came from the dollar tree i'm gonna use uh first three in a row i'm gonna hot glue them together after that, I'm gonna use two, and then two again, and then three again. So we have a total of 10 blocks. After I hot glue them all together, I am going to assemble them, creating a frame. If you're following me on my channel, you know that I love creating frames out of the Django blocks and generally using Django blocks for many other things. So you see me over here using a hot glue, just assembling a um, square frame now i'm taking the cardboard box left over from um, something i had in my pantry i love using cardboard boxes and i'm tracing the square um, and cutting it out now i'm uh, putting a little dot inside of the square on the cardboard making sure i know um, where to stay in between while i'm um, drawing i found this beautiful picture of a pumpkin silhouette online and i'm going to go ahead and draw it with my pencil on this cardboard. If you guys are um, not comfortable with drawing, I would encourage you to go ahead and try it. I was never good. I always thought I was never good at drawing, but uh, I tried it and I absolutely love the results I'm getting. So as long as you use a pencil that you can erase it, go ahead and try it. After I was happy with the way the pumpkin looks, I am using a, this uh, paint marker, paint brush marker. It is absolutely, a perfect the tip is like a paintbrush and uh, it really is perfect for um, filling it the lines if you press it harder it really um, gives you uh, thicker lines and if you're pressing it uh, very softly then it's going to give you fine line it is very good and i believe i bought it at walmart i'm going to try to link it down in the description box after i was done um, with this part i took my Vivoli chalk paint in a color mineral and i decided to go ahead and paint uh, the django blocks this part is absolutely optional you can choose any color you want and you can leave it the way it is you can stain it i decided to go ahead with this uh, color and then after this was completely dried i went ahead and got just a regular brown acrylic paint and i dry brushed it all the way around I use this chippy brush came from the Dollar Tree. I love using it for dry brushing. When everything was dried, the only thing left to do was to hot glue the um, cardboard with a pumpkin piece to my frame. And that is it for this project. It is super simple to make. You saw it. It requires minimal um, supplies and I'm pretty sure you have almost everything at home or you can purchase it at the Dollar Tree. And look how beautiful this looks and it is just amazing um, how versatile it is and just perfect addition to your fall decor. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Yelena. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two kids. I absolutely love doing DIYs and creating beautiful things for my home on a budget. So if that's something that is interesting for you, please come check out my videos, my channel and subscribe. I would love to have you. And now let's go on and start with the second project. For my second project, again, I'm going to start with the cardboard um, that I have from my cereal. Again, if you're part of my channel, you know I love using cardboard. It is perfect for many projects. So keep those cereal boxes or any other good cardboard pieces. I'm going to um, go ahead and uh, trace out a rectangle. I um, think I went with 4 inches by 8 inches. And I cut out two of those. And now I'm going to hot glue the wrong side together just to make it more sturdy and for this i used just regular school glue to glue it next step would be to take um, the regular acrylic black paint or any other black paint you have and to paint the top of this cardboard um, and i made sure to go ahead and um, do the streaks on one side so pretty much I was going uh, from left to right especially the top coat the edges are not important to be covered because there's going to be a frame and this is a little tip use either a ziploc bag or cellophane or a clear wrap to wrap your a brush if you're going to use it later 
Now, these stickers came from the Dollar Tree, and um, since they're a different color that I wanted, I wanted the white, I'm gonna um, try something. So I saw many YouTubers doing this, and I decided I'm gonna do the same. I um, put the word um, thankful, and I went over two times with my uh, Rust-Oleum chalk paint in a linen white color. And after it was dried, um, as you can see over here, it totally didn't work. It um, the the paint started peeling off, chipping off. I don't know what I did wrong, but on to the uh, plan B. I have this uh, stencil that came from the Dollar Tree as well. And uh, at the beginning, I wanted to do this word thankful from the top to the bottom. Uh, and I wanted this sign to be upwards, but it's okay, it's gonna work this way as well. So I'm going and I'm using my brush and I'm kind of dabbing on um, this white paint, chalk paint. Um, and I'm filling up the word thankful. When it was all dried, I pulled off uh, the stencil and it came out very nice even though I wanted these letters to be uh, sharp. So I went ahead and I filled them in uh, with my very fine brush. It took a little time, but I was happy with the results. And if I made any mistake, I could go back with a black uh, brush and just um, fix everything and it will not be noticeable. And this is how it turned out at the end. Very nice. And I was happy with it. Now I'm taking these four craft sticks that came from Lowe's I believe but you have them really anywhere and I'm gonna take two and cut off the uh, just round parts I'm gonna be using this exacto knife that I had I'm gonna link that in a description box as well it is a very good one and inexpensive one and I'm gonna sand off the edges after I had those two I'm gonna measure how much I'm gonna need for the side parts of the frame I'm gonna measure where to cut my uh, craft sticks when everything was cut and sanded, I'm gonna take again a brown acrylic paint and I'm gonna water it down using my chippy brush and I'm gonna go over the popsicle sticks or craft sticks. And that's gonna create kind of a stain effect. When everything was completely dried, I'm gonna start hot gluing the frame um, on top of this uh, thankful sign and I am just simply hot gluing it and going it around, making sure everything is aligned. And for this sign, that is it. I wanted to show you how easy you can create, again, a beautiful, very simple and elegant sound sign for your home. And you can really use any wording you want or um, you can add something to it if you want. It is very, very simple, just using things that you already have at home. on a social media i would like for you to look for me i am on instagram uh, over there mostly i show um, just my family life a lot of my projects and more thing about myself um, also i am on a pinterest and um, over there you're going to see a lot of my boards with my projects also find me on a facebook as well i would love to connect with you guys that makes me happy and i would like to see your projects if you recreate some of mine i would like to feature you on my page and now let's go ahead and let's start with the third project. For third project, I'm using the leftover of this canvas that came from the Dollar Tree. I used the frame for something else previously, so now I'm um, using the canvas part. I'm going to cut out uh, all four sides, but um, the longer sides are important to be nice and straight. The top and the bottom are not so important, and I'm going to show you later why. Now I'm taking my pencil again, and I'm going to try to recreate that ray down font as best as I can. And I'm going to spell out the words, um, sweater weather. So what I like about this is that again, you can write it if you make a mistake and you will see me make a mistake over here. You can go ahead and erase it with no problem and start over again. Um, I didn't see any um, issues with the, uh, erasing it. So 
especially if you don't press the pencil very hard. Next, I'm going to take this marker uh, with a, a paintbrush tip that I really like, and I went over my lettering. And I liked about this canvas because it really looked like a sweater knit material. So um, this wording is perfectly for a this. Next, I'm taking the skewers that came from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut them out a little bit longer or wider than my canvas. I'm going to take uh, six of them and cut them out and then I'm going to send them just a little bit uh, so they're not roughed on the edges. Next, I'm going to take first three of them and I'm going to hot glue them together, almost like in a diamond shape. So two on the bottom, one on the top. And then I'm going to do that with uh, another set of three as well. So this is going to um, go on the top and the bottom of this canvas. If you have dowels, you can certainly use those or anything else that you find in your house. So uh, now I'm going to uh, go on the top um, of this canvas and you will see me in just a second. I am going to hot glue, like wrap it around and uh, hot glue along the way. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the bottom. And that is going to hold my um, sign canvas sign and it's going to look pretty as well next i'm going to take this jute twine that came from the dollar tree crafter square and i am going to tie just a regular knot on one side of this um, dowel set let's say uh, and i'm going to hot glue on the back just a little bit so it doesn't slide off and i'm going to do the same thing on the other side and that's going to be my um, handle or just a rope that i can hang the sign off i thought it's too plain so i decided to use this same marker and just add a little kind of lines on top and the bottom because it reminded me of a knitted sweater or actually stitches on a sweater so I thought it fits perfectly and that is it for this sign again very easy super inexpensive and very versatile sign and I hope you guys liked it and as always I would like to hear which one of this was your favorite and would you recreate any of these and if you liked it give me a thumbs up and share this video and subscribe to my channel I would love to have you thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next video bye guys